Wow, guys, it's the 1954 Godzilla vs. Jurassic World dinosaurs find out what happens when he attacks them with his atomic breath. Wow, keep watching. Guys, check out all these Godzillas we're going to go ahead and take a look at besides the 1954 NECA Godzilla. Cool.
Kids, do not try this at home. This is very dangerous. Uh, leave it to the professionals and enjoy and have fun. Wow, guys, great to see you again. So glad you came back. I found another awesome Godzilla toy at Toys R Us. This is another NECA Godzilla, but this is the 1954 NECA Godzilla, and he looks awesome. Uh, we'll also take a look at the uh, other NECA Godzillas I've got because they are really cool. And I also got a newer one. Uh, I believe it was 1998 Godzilla, so I will be reviewing that one soon. Okay, guys, so NECA has done a great job once again. Let's take a look at this guy from the top to the bottom. Okay, so starting here on his head. Uh, the points of articulation in this guy are awesome. They have a lot of them. First of all, the whole neck will turn. The head here will move up and down and turn individual of the neck piece. The mouth opens and closes. He's got really cool looking sharp gray teeth. Evil looking beady little eyes. And then moving on down. Uh, arm wise 360 degree movement here 360 at the elbow and 360 at the wrist and the uh, hands will open and close that is so awesome for a figure of this size and then movement on the waist he moves 360 degrees right here on the waist and uh, the legs have several different movement points too. So it will turn, yeah, it'll turn 360 degrees there. And then it will turn 360 at the knee. And the leg itself will turn 360 degrees. That is so cool. And then the tail, 360, but it includes several different pieces so it turns over there it turns here it turns here and okay so three different actually four different uh, joint movements on the tail really cool nice spikes down the back and also on this guy's head so like I said awesome Godzilla out of the NECA ones I got, I think this one's my favorite. I mean, I really like the look they gave him. And the paint job is superb on this guy. I mean, take a look at these claws. All individual claws. Everyone hand painted without the colors running into other parts of it. The same here. The teeth are painted gray. The only weird thing is the tongue is also painted gray. So really nice coloring detail on the spikes down the back. And really great job painting the nails on this guy's feet so NECA went all out with this and it looks cool and it does say NECA 2014 on Godzilla himself but this is one that I just found at Toys R Us I mean I have not seen this one offered by NECA before let me show you some of the other NECA ones I got, and you can see uh, the detail difference in them. Okay, well actually this one is my favorite Godzilla. This is a big one that was made by NECA, 
It's actually uh, not that cheap either. This one's about $50. But you can see uh, this one has awesome detail everywhere too. I mean this one for its size and it has a uh, sound movement all over the place and it's huge. Okay, but this one here is the other NECA one I got. So this is like a, a later version. So this is the 1950s version. I believe this one is like the 19... Actually, I think that's the 2000 version. 2000 something. So uh, there we go. So that is the other one by NECA and compared to the one I just did there. By the way guys, uh, if you want to check all of these uh, unboxed, reviewed, and cool battles, I do have a Godzilla playlist at the end of this video. But uh, let me show you some of the other Godzillas I got because I do got quite a few of them. So continuing on, this one is a cool Shin Godzilla that uh, I got from Sega, you can see it's really aggressive and evil looking. I mean, check this guy out. He's got like flames coming out all over his body. Then here is another cool Shin Godzilla. Uh, this is uh, made by Sega. Uh, this, these are the ones that have the super long tails. I mean, the tail is like two to three times as long as the actual dinosaur. And uh, without something to hold it up or putting it on its base, this guy does tend to fall over. So keep that in mind if you buy that one. Uh, same with this purple guy here. He seems to be balancing himself uh, a little bit better. But as you can see, his tail is about two to three times. If you stretch that tail out flat, it would be about three times the size of the Godzilla. So this is a cool uh, Sega Shin Purple. And then these ones here would be three different forms of Godzilla from the uh, 2016 Godzilla movie. Actually 2017 Godzilla movie, sorry. That would be like the first form, this would be like the second form, and that is the final form. Cool. Actually, uh, they did have a form before this one. It's just, it's it's like a really tiny, like a long worm or something. And then I got a couple Mecha Godzillas here too. So here you've got two different forms of him. These ones I haven't actually opened uh, up yet. These are by, I believe, oh, these ones are by Bandai that one at least and this one is 2016 Godzilla again by Bandai so this one is the 2016 and this one I'm not sure what version that is but the Mecha Godzillas to me look really weird and then I've got three vintage ones you've got this one uh, I've showed this guy before more than once he's got like the long chicken legs and look how he holds his arms up it's almost like he's trying to scare somebody he's like I'm going to get you. well uh, this is one I definitely would not recommend I mean this one is just totally weird it does roar but it doesn't even sound that good this one from the 1998 movie I do like he's got this big handle on the back here of four different buttons so one button, he will move his leg up and down and stomp stuff and make a stomping noise. The other button, he swings his tail so he could like slap stuff with his tail. This one, he moves his arm almost like he's going to spank somebody. So, Come here! I'm going to spank you! <laughs> and, and, and he'll move his mouth too. And then this one is also like a uh, spanking motion. Check that out. I mean, what 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 kind of a battle would this be? It would be like, wah, wapa, 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 wapa. <laughs> and then uh, I got one final 1998 version. 
This one's, uh, it makes noise and it vibrates. It has a little remote control tank. So if you push it, it makes a firing noise. This guy opens and closes his mouth and he vibrates. So my camera is cutting most of the vibration out, but this guy like really seriously vibrates. And look how the skin's moving there. So that one's pretty cool. And then I've got the big boy. This Godzilla is like three feet tall. Really aggressive, super cool looking. He does open his mouth, move his arms, his legs. Uh, super long tail. I mean, this guy's tail is about twice the size of his body. So he is a huge Godzilla. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and set all these guys up on my board here. Okay, first of all, we went up and head up, set up that big one way in the back. Then we set up the NECA one next to him, almost like a mommy coming for a baby. Then the 1998 version one there, which is gonna spank the other one. He's like, ah! Ha ha! Ha ha! That one is weird. Then we'll go ahead and set this uh, tank version up over here in between these guys. And then let's go ahead and set up these smaller ones. So these smaller ones here, this 1998 one, I'm going to set right over there. Our new, well, the, one of the NECA ones over here, the Mecha Godzilla right there. Uh, the triple version of the Godzilla, I'm going to go ahead and set up right here in a row so we can see all three versions like right after each other and then our new one is gonna go right here in front of those guys and then our Sega ones I'm gonna put one over here because this guy's gonna need help standing this one uh, see its tail does fall off sometime this one I'm gonna put over there so it could stand and then our last mecha one is gonna go over there so i do have some oh we forgot one i forgot this big red one here with the really messed up looking tail so this is not all of my godzillas i do have some more but uh this is most of them and guys, I do love buying Godzilla toys, but I need to know from you guys. Uh, I mean, Godzilla, King Kong toys, is that something you enjoy? If you do, go ahead and drop me a comment. Wow, guys, that is awesome. I just want to take this time to thank you guys for viewing. And to let you know, uh, I do have a new website. The website address is wdtoysyoutube.com. So I have a lot of my videos on there, which you can check that out. Again, that's wdtoysyoutube.com. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, thanks for viewing, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Wow, guys, that was a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, Make sure you click subscribe and the thumbs up button down below the video. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. If you went to the video ends, there's an awesome end curve. There's a lot more fun videos. And I will see you soon. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos, and if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.